Hello, I'm Shane Hegarty and I'm the writer of uh, Boot and Boot the Rusty Rescue, which are the stories of a toy robot who wakes in a grinder about to be mashed into a million pieces and escapes to go on an adventure in search of its owner. Uh, I didn't do the drawings though, they're all done by the brilliant Ben Mantle, here's the two of us at a bookshop in London when we could all still travel. Ben is the one wearing a hat. He looks better in a hat than I do. And if he removes his hat, his brains fall out. Uh, that's what he tells me anyway. But I thought I'd give you a few tips on how to write your own robot story. Uh, although if you can draw, then you can draw it, or you can do both, or write a robot song, a robot film, a robot dance. It's all really up to you. Uh, you know, I think as good a place as any to start is to just ask the question, what kind of robot would you invent? Boot is a toy, which, uh, you know, made to make kids happy, which is why Boot burps giggles all the time. But maybe you'd like a dog walking robot or a robot who will fly you anywhere or maybe a never ending ice cream robot. It's all really up to you. And uh, once you've kind of thought of an idea of what kind of robot you'd like uh, to create, you can add loads of qualities to it. You know, ask yourself what sort of special features you'd like. So Boot is squidgy, but still tough enough to be thrown about because, you know, Boot is a toy and Boot is a face made of cartoon drawings. And you, know, you can see all these different types of robots that I have in the Rusty Rescue. Now, these are all broken robots because that's the kind of robot that features in my story. Uh, but there's loads of different types that you can have. So you can ask yourself, what about your robot? Will it sneeze ice cream out of its nose? If it's a dog walking robot, Will it put the doggy poo in its ears? Uh, I really hope it picks up the doggy poo and puts it in its ears. Uh, but what else? Oh yeah, you can uh, frankly steal things from all around you, uh, or at least find some inspiration. I mean, look in the kitchen, the bedroom, all around your house for items that could go into your robot. And uh, you, you know, you'd be amazed at all the different things that you can you can add to it. Uh, I mean, I found inspiration from lots of different places, not just around the house. But, um, you know, also inspiration from loads of the things that I used to watch in my childhood. Uh, so in my books, you can see that I'm influenced by things like K-9, who was a robot dog in Doctor Who. Uh, there's Marvin, the paranoid android, who's from my favourite book, which is The Hitch Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, data from Star Trek, an android who really wanted to be human. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, there was uh, Johnny Five from Short Circuit which was a really big film in the 80s and uh, influenced someone you might know, uh, Wally, uh, which is a film I love too. Uh, but you can't just take all these things and throw them in and hope a robot pops up. You need a bit of soul. Uh, and this is how I do it, by asking, what if you were a robot? Think of all the things that would be different about you. I mean, Boot wakes up in this grinder with suddenly all these different emotions, all these different ideas popping around in his head of what life might be like. But maybe it's not so simple. So if you were a robot, would you feel confused, delighted, scared, powerful, silly? Um, and, you know, maybe as Boot and lots of the robots in the Boot books find it, they look and they ask, what weird things do humans do? How would they look to you? I mean, if you think about how weird humans are, uh, you know, humans are hairy. They have sponges for brains. They leak out of every part of their body. And where else do I find my inspiration from? Oh, I, even with this new book, here's Rusty from the Rusty Rescue. Rusty is based on a real robot that I saw in a factory in England, in the Dyson factory, where there was a robot finger opening and closing a door on a washing machine over and over and over again, just to see how long the washing machine would last until it broke. And I thought, well, imagine you were that robot. What would it be like? And Boot meets Rusty, who is just this robot who is to sit on a chair over and over and over and over again and decides to break rusty out and i've had great fun writing these stories so much so that i've got a new boot book coming out the creaky creatures uh which will be out at the end of the summer and it asks the question well what if you could have any robot pet that you wanted what would uh, what would you be able to create yourself and that's something you might be able to do an idea of what robot animal would you like and 
in that book boot meets a whole park full of robot pets but remember the number one rule of all writing is have fun that's all that matters anyway thanks all i hope this helps you get your own st- story started and helps pa- pass a bit of time while we're all stuck indoors the reason i haven't put myself up on this is because i'm stuck indoors and i cut my own hair and it looks ridiculous take care